Hi friends, my name is Austin Reigns and I am the Assistant Director for Career Services. I will be discussing major exploration and career planning with you today. Misconceptions and fears. A lot of the time, students fear graduating from high school and going out into the real world for one reason, making decisions. Students are expected to make life-changing decisions and plan out their entire future before they even enter college. This idea has a lot of fear associated with it, such as those listed in this slide. One of the biggest misconceptions is that you have to have everything figured out. On average, people change occupations 10 to 15 times in their lifetime and change careers three times. This is because they are discovering themselves and what they want out of life along the way. People often fear deciding a career because of all the questions that arise with it and the amount of details that need figured out. The major questions that people normally worry about answering include those listed in this slide. How many of you know someone who hates their job? That is a fear that most students have because of the fact that there are so many who do. It does not have to be scary or intimidating. Choosing a major starts with finding and learning about yourself. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. So what is the process for major exploration and career planning? The first step is self-discovery. This is really important. Since most people say that you should follow your passion, you need to know what makes you happy. Career counselors tend to have inventories, games, and assignments to help you find out how you prefer to work in the world, what interests you, what work and life values are important to you, what motivates you, and so forth. Step two and three are about researching the types of jobs that are out there that match your interests and work needs. Then, matching that to education and training, there are some fields that require a specific major, while others do not. Once you've made those decisions, it's time to put your education into practice. This should be done while still in school as part of your education. Employers expect applicants to have a good education as well as experience. Make sure that you recognize skills that you are learning in class projects, research, internships, service learning, and other experiential education. You will need to practice promoting your education, skills, and accomplishments for that first job. It is important to understand that most people change jobs numerous times. You may have to interview for a new job or promotion. You may change your mind and want to start the process over and look at new opportunities as you develop in your career. But if I want it and I'm good at it, shouldn't it be easy? You would think it would be easy, but it never is. You have to continually work hard for what you want out of life. I'm sure most, if not all of you, have heard of Bill Gates. In case you have not, Bill Gates is the founder of Microsoft. However, did you know he dropped out of college? You would not think so, since he is one of the world's wealthiest people. I use this example to show you that even the world's wealthiest people experience some change from their original life plan. It is a normal part of life to make decisions along the way that will give you the best chance of succeeding, but you have to be willing to work for it. It is important to take personality and career inventories. This is because it will establish what is important to you in terms of a career and will in turn help you to figure out a career path. It is important to look at whether your values match up with the type of career you are pursuing. Most students often forget the aspect of geographic location. A person might have the perfect career in mind that fits their personality and values, yet they might not live in an area where that position is abundant 
and personally do not want to leave their home. So again, this is why it is very important to make sure that you evaluate your values before choosing a major in career. Knowing yourself applies to all parts of life. Often, the first question asked in an interview is, so tell me about yourself. Saying, I'd rather not because you want the job might be frowned upon. You need to know yourself in order to succeed. Students often focus on picking a specific job title as their career. It is important to look for similar jobs in an industry because job titles change all the time. The questions on this slide come from typical students asking themselves when deciding on a career. These are all important questions because their answers contain vital information specific to each career. Here are just a few databases that can be used to access the answers to the important questions from the previous slide. They provide the information specific to different jobs. Handshake is a fast and powerful career services platform to help you discover new career paths, find jobs and internships, and connect with employers. You can also register for career events and schedule appointments with our career services staff. Claim your student account today. Find out how at ssucareers.com. Education is one of the most essential pieces to this process. It is very important to review college majors, more specifically majors at Shawnee State University. You can do so at the link on this slide. It is also important to look for a list of degree requirements or a sample curriculum provided for the major or majors of interest. Informational interviews consist of a discussion with someone in a specific field about how it is to work in the field. They truly are a great learning opportunity. So, are you ready to schedule an appointment for major exploration and career planning? Contact me at 740-351-3784 and or at arains at shawnee.edu so I can help navigate you through this process. I look forward to hearing from you.